people who are running things, you know, I, I, I just don't think that that's their mindset is let's be racist to people of, of they color. Don't, they, don't, I, they don't understand I, it, but they are innately that way. Innately? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Lord. No, oh, no. What have you been reading? Oh, babe. You know, come on. You, is that white fragility or some bullshit like no, that? No, it's not white fragility. Well, that's the book. Is no. that where you're getting well, that no. from? No. Bill Maher is no doubt one of the most insane people when it comes to any sort of political discussion nowadays, but it seems like on this episode, he met his match. And he met his match so much so that he was forced to shut down the woke idiot sitting across from him on his podcast, The Club Random Podcast. We had Brian Cranston, who was one of the most woke people in all of Hollywood and in all of the globe, honestly, but it's just so weird how Hollywood breeds these absolute lunatics. Like, yes, Bill Maher is insane. Yes, Whoopi Goldberg, Joy Behar, all those people, they're insane. Brian Cranston and other people out of Hollywood, like Mark Hamill, they take it to a whole nother level. Like, they are, like, no joke, I, I promise you this is not hyperbolic or facetious or anything. This is the truth. Brian Cranston and Mark Hamill belong in an institution. Like, they are completely insane. Donald Trump has completely broken their brains. Anyway, let's get into this clip here of Bill Maher, who is, yes, a woke weirdo, but he is not... Brian Cranston beat him by so much that Bill Maher is forced to shut down this woke lunatic. Let's check this out here. The president. And let me ask you a question. Yeah. When you look at this guy's hat, make America great again, what do you think about that? Sweetheart, nobody has made more fun of Donald Trump than I have. I know. So I'm just you can't you. get me on like, I like Donald Trump. I'm I don't not like saying Don that. Okay. I'm not saying and that. And I get your point. I've said it myself. Yes, make America great again. I understand to a certain number of people, that's a dog whistle about America was better when it was whiter. I get that. Okay. But I, I will, would you then also accept that there's a large swath of people in this camp and other people like him who have no clue that that's a dog whistle that they think oh yeah make america great again is for everyone but when was it great let me ask you this let me ask you this i know oh god i, I mean making you know, a big sigh come no, on no. when was it great for for african americans in this country when was it great well if you're applying for college now i would say now so in our history now, it's great. I didn't say great. It's never great for anybody fully. Well, never what, great for anybody? Well, life is full of problems. So yeah. great, you know, yes, if your life is great, you're very lucky. Most people would not say my life is great. Would you say your life is great? Yes, I would. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, I would. Uh, yeah. I mean. And, and a lot of it has. I'm glad for you. It, uh, and I've been privileged. Yes. Do you believe in, in white privilege? I, I like the word advantage better okay. because advantage okay. is broader. Here's the reason why. When you say advantage, now, have I had advantages, especially growing up in, you know, being, a, again, we were born the same year, 1956. If you're born in that year, yes, you were a young person in the 80s, probably in the 80s, um, you know, could uh, like I have been up for a job at a comedy club when I was working little comedy clubs and there was a, a black comedian and they gave it to me instead because they thought I would do better being a white comedian or that they were just maybe had racism in them. Yes, I think that probably could have happened. And that was wrong. Again, I didn't do it. I can't. I mean, we can't all be saying you're doing it. No, no, no. Recognizing that it exists. I, 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 yeah. I don't think I should be even questioned that I'm someone who doesn't yes. recognize that it exists. Right. I have a pretty good record of yeah. speaking on the right side of civil rights issues. I just this is a, this is a very very stupid argument from Brian Cranston, and I'm really glad that even though, like I said, Bill Maher is is really woke as well. At least he's able to push back on something as ridiculous as this argument here. What Brian Cranston is saying is that Donald Trump saying "Make America Great Again." Well, every time in the past, basically the white people in america are, are quickly becoming the minority so like america is getting less and less white so by making america great again you're implying that we should go back to the past and because at this point in time the white people in america are becoming the minority well if we're going back that must mean that you want america to be more white it's like no dude just because we want to go back to when america was great doesn't mean that we want America to be more white. Like it, it's kind of two completely different sentences. It's kind of like saying, man, 
football used to be so good, like back in the 2010s, you know, in, in, in 2009 to 2016, that era, it was so good. Football was so good. Well, are you saying that you want to bring back Darren Sproles? It's like, no, dude, that has, to, that has nothing to do with Darren Sproles. That's a very niche. I, I understand that a lot of people won't understand what I'm talking about, but it's just like, think of any obscure player from the NFL from that time period. It's like, no, it has nothing to do with them. It's the, the time period, you know, the the top players of the league. We had like Tom Brady, Ben Roethlisberger, Drew Brees, all these, you know, top tier quarterbacks. We had Patrick Willis, Ray Lewis, all these guys, but also the way the league was run overall, the rules, the, the way that they officiated the games, all of these things combined into making football great at that time period. And all of those things also combined and because they, they went away or they changed in football not being so great nowadays. It's the same thing with the United States. It's the same thing with make, a, make America great again. It's not, oh, make America white again. Like nobody's saying that, dude. Maybe a small percentage of people are saying that, but correlation doesn't always equal causation. There are some things where people are saying we should make America more white again or it kind of by proxy saying that because we're saying we need to fix the immigration issue but it's not like oh if we just make america all white then america will be great again nobody's saying that dude it's just to make america great again and yes america was whiter in the past but that has nothing to do with anything you know but any it's just really really stupid and i'm glad bill maher is able to push back on this at least it's like to be real about where we are and where we are is not where we were and some people seem literally reluctant it seems like they they feel like the, the worse I think things are, the better person I am. That's what I get from a lot of the left, you know. I think things are worse than you do, so that's what makes me good. And, like, I just want the reality. I just want the truth. Mm. What is the truth of the situation? And, again, I'm not... If you enjoy content like this, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out a ton. Let's get back to the video. I'm not decrying that these changes are made. I'm applauding it. I'm applauding it that it's great that if you're... a a, a black kid applying to college, yeah, you don't have to face discrimination like they used to. And very often those colleges and businesses also in America are trying to make up for their sorry past. I think I, I think we're not we're not really far apart. I think it's to to I mean, yes, are, are there factions that are on both extremes? Of course. To be buddy, you are in that faction on the extreme. You are the extreme. I don't know many people who are much more extreme than people like Brian Cranston and Mark Hamill and these weird A list celebrities out of Hollywood. They are the extreme, they are the most extreme as it gets on the left, in my opinion. Other than people who say things just simply for shock factor, like Hassan, who will say stuff like, you know, he'll, he'll be in favor of Hamas and stuff like that. Those are the only people who are more extreme than people like this. To say you're, you're a liberal person as I would consider myself. Um, I don't, I, I think common sense is, is, is the law of the land. It's what should be. I think we are in a much better place than we've ever been before, as far as civil rights, as far as acceptance and, and it just, it's just, you know, the people who are running the world now are millennials and Gen Z's they just, they're not, I think you're thinking of your generation and, and they are still in place in some places. They're certainly not all racists who are in place, but yeah, there are, you know, like I said, I don't know if we'll ever get rid of it completely like any human. But, but also like he's, Brian Cranston is saying, I think we're in a better place now than we've ever been before when it comes to civil rights and acceptance. It's like, dude, do liberals not realize there is a lot more to running a country than civil rights and acceptance? Yes, we ob obviously should have civil rights for all skin, you know, all, all skin colors, whatever, races, genders. Yeah, I, there's my, my virtue signaling for this video. But there's a lot more to running the country and having this, like, we're, America is more than just a country, you know? As America goes, the rest of the globe goes as well. So, if America descends into chaos, the rest of the world descends into chaos, and we're seeing that right now. There's wars popping up all over the place because we have Joe Biden and Kamala Harris in office. But it, it's just insane the things that, that, that these people truly believe. Like, this guy is so brainwashed to think that we can't make America great again because right now it's in the best place that it's ever been for acceptance. Are you serious, dude? There's so much more to running a country than acceptance. That's where the left goes extremely wrong human flaw. But the people who are running things, you know, I, I, I just don't think that that's their mindset is let's be racist to people of, of they color. Don't, they, don't, I, they don't understand I, it, but they are innately that way.
innately? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Oh, no. What have you been reading? Oh, babe. You know, come on. You, is that white fragility or some bullshit like no, that? No, it's not white fragility. Well, that's the book. Is no. that where you're getting that? No, from? Uh, for, no. But innately, like like original sin, like like we're we're we, uh, toxically but, white, born racist. Not, not toxically, but you are. You recognize your experience, and your and what we don't recognize often is is uh, uh, the privilege that you said, the advantage okay. that you have. Will you look at look at Congress? Look at look look at the makeup of Congress. You cannot deny that as older white men are the predominant factor in Congress. I don't have the stats in front of me, but there's plenty of people in color in Congress. And it, yes, we are moving from a place where it was all white. We get it. Yes. But Good. what what direction is it going? And I don't and I'd like to see the numbers in Congress. Certainly in the Democratic Party, I bet you they're um, at least representative percentage wise. I would say so. OK. Yeah. Uh, less so in the Republican Party. Yeah. But I have to tell you, um, Republicans are doing better and better all the time with people of color. I hope Be so. Because the woke shit actually doesn't help any black people. It, see, to me, this is the difference between liberalism and wokeism. Liberalism is about lifting people up. Woke is just about self-loathing and hating yourself and scolding everybody uh, and virtue signaling. It doesn't actually help anybody. Lifting people up who have gotten a bad shake in this country, who are for some reason downtrodden or have been cheated, absolutely, I've always been for that. Um, but I don't think that's a lot of what's going on. And I think there are... Um, I just look at the numbers from the last election. I mean, Trump, you th what, would you think that he would get even one black or Hispanic vote? He got 20. Any of them who are free thinkers. Yeah. Anyone who can actually sit back and, and, and actually make decisions for themselves and don't listen to mainstream news or whoever the hell Bill Maher or Brian Cranston get their news from. But anyway, let me know in the comments what you thought about Bill Maher pushing back and, and really just destroying, tearing apart this dumb, woke lunatic's all of his talking points, Brian Cranston's. Let me know in the comments what you're thinking about this whole Bill Maher Club Random podcast episode with Brian Cranston.